Tonight, CBS 5 continues to follow the lake effect snowstorm, slamming the North Country, burying neighbors there in feet of snow. We've been in Watertown since the sun came up as the snow was coming down four inches per hour. The wind whipping the flakes around, making for near whiteout conditions at times. A lake effect snow warning is still in effect until 3 o'clock tomorrow in Jefferson, Oswego, Lewis, and northern Herkimer counties. CBS 5's Kelly Cowan continues our coverage tonight. She's with the Live Eye. Up north, getting blown around, this can't be pleasant, Kelly. <laughs> no, it's certainly not. And I don't know what I did to our photojournalist, Trevor Payan, but he has me facing directly into all of this right now. Believe it or not, this is better than it was about a minute ago. But I tell you, Michael, thank goodness for waterproof mascara and eyeliner right now. Now, the story going on in Watertown, Adams, Northern Oswego County, it's a four letter word. It's not snow, it's wind. As you can see already, it's not only, the snow's not only coming down and making visibility very poor on the roadways, but it's also whipping up everything that's already fallen. We've seen traffic lights knocked out, nearly knocked down, as well as that low visibility. It's making the roadways extremely hard to navigate. At some points as we traveled north, visibility was down to about uh, three feet in front of us. Earlier today, we caught up with a man from Toronto who's had quite a journey so far today trying to get home. He began this morning in New Jersey. He's been trying to get home ever since. Part of his journey should have taken him through Buffalo. And if you've seen the pictures of what's going on there, then you probably already know how this story ends. So we hit Binghamton. We stopped over at the stop, uh, the rest stop, and we saw the television, there's snow all over the place. Eh? So the, the info told me Highway 90 is closed, they, you cannot go through Buffalo. But I still went through the 90, that's my normal route. So when I pick up the ticket, they said Buffalo is closed, you cannot get through it. By the time I get a chance to turn around, it's like 30 miles, right? So I turn around back to Syracuse and 81, and here I am. Now, I know I look like quite a show right now with all of this going on here, but I wish we could turn this camera around right now. Our photojournalist Trevor Payan has one hand on the camera, one hand on our live unit, just trying to keep everything hunkered down in this wind, which is just so strong, as I mentioned, making things extremely tough on the roadways. And Michael, we got to get back on those roadways very soon so we can get home safe. So I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. But for now, reporting from Watertown, I'm Kelly Cowan. All right, Kelly, safe drive home. This is one of the top stories on the CNY Central mobile app. You can get the news of the day, the latest track on those lake snow bans, and any closings or delays that come to us in the morning on the CNY Central mobile app.